Hello and welcome to What The Hey, where I'm your regular host of What The Hey, and today in What The Hey, I'm once again answering yet another question. When I go to my notebook of knowledge, I see the question of, who the hey is Herbie the love bug? Now this question was asked by Dank Engine 2005 so hello to you and thank you very much for the question. Now in terms of a very basic description, Herbie the Love Bug is a very famous fictional automobile character that has been featured in a TV show as well as various movies. I mean the biggest thing you gotta know about Herbie is the fact that he is a sentient car, which is great. Specifically, if you're curious about the type of car that Herbie is, he is a Volkswagen Beetle, which is kind of interesting because there was a whole controversy on whether or not Volkswagen wanted to take credit for it being a Beetle, but that's what he is. In terms of general appearance, Herbie has a color scheme of red, white, and blue, so pretty patriotic. He has kind of this really big 53 racing number on the front, and then he has a very consistent uh, license plate number. The first time that Herbie's ever introduced is in the 1968 film The Love Bug, which is basically all about Herbie racing. The entirety of the Herbie film franchise is pretty much about racing. The other films featured in the franchise range from Herbie Rides Again, which was in 1974, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo was in 1977, Herbie Goes Bananas was in 1980, The Love Bug Reboot was in 1997, and then Herbie Fully Loaded was in 2005, so it's been a bit since the new movie was released. And then I previously mentioned a TV show which would be Herbie the Love Bug, which was out in 1982. It only had five episodes, but if you're more into a TV show kind of thing instead of movies, you can watch that. In terms of some other extra facts and random knowledge, the 53 racing number on the front of Herbie is kind of in reference to a very famous Los Angeles Dodgers player, so that's kind of cool. Besides being known as Herbie and having the 53 racing number, there's also a nickname for Herbie called Ocho, which is in reference to one of the movies where a character calls Herbie Ocho because 5 and 3 together make 8. Even I get that and I don't like math. Throughout the filming for the various Herbie movies, a multitude of different Herbies had to be created because if you've watched any of the films, there is so much damage done to Herbie that it makes sense that there had to be multiple made. Outside of the films and the main TV show, Disney, who is pretty much the main holder for the film franchise in general, um, included the character of Herbie in Disney's Lights, Motors, Action, Extreme Stunt Show, which was really cool. Essentially, they included the character of Herbie, like a Volkswagen Beetle, in the show to just like be a stunt car and like drive around. Pretty epic. Which goes into my main opinion because when I got this question originally, I was like, oh cool, I'm gonna talk about like a sentient car. But then I was like, I actually remember something about this. Which the main reason why I kind of remembered something about Herbie was because as I just previously mentioned, Herbie was included in a Disney stunt show and funnily enough, my family one time went to the stunt show where Herbie was and I don't know why that's such a distant memory that was brought into the light now, but I do remember it. It was just kind of like one of those core memories where it's like, I don't remember exactly what happened while I was there at the stunt show. I just remember seeing this car drive around and it was Herbie. Pretty epic. I think throughout the show, they kind of like expressed how Herbie in the movies and the show makes noises and sounds to kind of represent the sentience of Herbie. Which overall, Herbie's character is like, he likes to race. Hence why they have the character in a live stunt show at Disney. For me personally, I would put Herbie on the same level as like Kit in terms of overall coolness, I guess. I mean, Kit actually kind of spoke, I guess, uh, but both are really cool. I don't know, man, something about sentient cars is just a really big thing in human culture. I don't know. <laughs> but that's essentially the answer to the question. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll get to answering them as soon as I can. So thank you very much for watching. Bye.